Hi there, beautiful souls. It's Marav Richter here from Brave Ecstatic Woman. And I just wanted to come in and welcome you to my womb, welcome you to my writing, my meditation space, the space where I come in to get really grounded and write. And I wanted to share something with you, uh, not only one of my favorite books and something that really put me on and started me on this journey of uh, women's circles and, and rituals and a lot of those mystical arts and um, that mythology, that deep history of women that we have, that has so long, so many millennia, has gone undercover and hidden and hidden behind the veil. But one of the first things, one of the first books that put me on the path was this. I actually love this so much that I bought this beautiful hardcover uh, book with a red string to hold the place. I buy it so often and give it to so many friends. It's called The Red Tent, and if you haven't heard of it, please, I urge you, I recommend you, go out and find yourself The Red Tent uh, in any way, in as many copies as you can. You will be giving it to girlfriends, without a doubt, and uh, if you haven't heard of it yet, just giving it a short scenario doesn't do it justice, but I'll say it's basically the feminine interpretation of a very famous Bible story. So uh, we're looking at the reinterpretation of the, the stories that weren't told, the stories that have been hidden, but that were told throughout the millennia, uh, grandmother to granddaughter, mother to daughter, aunt to niece. And we, this is a, a beautiful interpretation of it. Of course, it's fictionalized, but Anita Diamant did a great, great, great job of bringing this to life. And one of the things that inspired me with this Red Tent book and inspired many others was to start our own Red Tent ritual. And it actually brings me to something I'll share with you a little bit later in this video. Uh, but we started doing the Red Tent rituals. What we found was that on a collective level, so many women, especially in the Western world, are having such a disconnect from what it is to be feminine, from what it is to be a woman, from what it is to be tap into that feminine energy. And one of the things that we find on a scientific basis, you know, science catching up to spirituality, is that when women gather, we have this nurturing and uh, response, this, this hormonal response, this biofeedback that we have with other women, that when women gather, we have the largest amount of oxytocin, a hormone that is the bonding hormone that mothers usually have with their babies, when women gather, we actually create levels of oxytocin so that women's community, that women's circle is so important to perform ritual and to get in touch with ourselves, to dance, to chant, to do whatever it is that, that we feel, to get wild, to get grounded, to have bliss, to have ecstasy. Uh, and this actually brings me to the next point. I would like to actually, this is the beginning journey, I would like to invite you Weekly, I will be having a red tent ritual that I will be having on Facebook Live. And you are very, very welcome to subscribe and join up. Uh, put it in the little notifications that you're following. And we will come together once a week and have a red tent ritual. I'm also going to be introducing women from history who have been part of this movement, whether they're, you know, are famous sung shiros or our unsung shiros. I'm going to be introducing those women as we go along. So I welcome you. I invite you. Welcome to our red tents. I'll be sharing rituals and techniques and how to make an altar and how to tap into intuition, how to use some mantras, how to use some breath work and some pranayama, uh, how to align some of the chakras and, uh, and bring some healing into those areas. What was, I'll be explaining those things too, what was once kind of only in the domain of the mystics and is now catching up with science and science is catching up with spirituality. So we're a whole biophysical organism. So I hope to see you soon. Thanks for tapping, tapping in and touching in and keeping, keeping part of this. And I'll see you soon in our red tent circles.